agree. Let's uh, let's move on. We got three more topics really quickly, um, and I don't think any of these are going to take a long, long time. But the Pac-12 is setting up a an extensive loan program for the 2020 college football season if it does not happen. John Wilner from the Mercury News uh, was the first to report this. Each university would be eligible for an $83 million loan if the 2020 season is canceled. The loans would be set with a 3.75% interest rate over the next 10 years. Now, pretty good uh, pretty good business for the banks, I would imagine. Now, they, they don't say what bank it is or anything like that. Like That's a hell of a lot of money. Not every school has to jump in on this, right? So if Stanford says, you know what, we got a massive endowment, we ain't worried about it, like we'll handle this ourselves, we're not going to take out money and just pay back a bank, you know, 3.75% interest on eight-something million dollars a year. Like we're not doing that. So if they want to do that, then that's fine. But it said the slate of loans could help universities avoid major revenue shortfalls in 2020 and beyond. Uh, football programs across the Pac-12 generate in excess of $50 million in ticket sales and media rights each year. It says all loan capacity is being used for things besides athletic. They're trying to get the core academic programs through for the next three years without firing people. If people have debt capacity, they should use it. Um, and so, you know, it says Stanford and USC are unlikely to participate. Uh, other public universities are likely to take substantially less than the $83 million max. I think that this is not the first that we are going to see this. Uh, if there is not a college football season, you're going to see SEC teams do this. You're going to see ACC. You're going to see Big Ten, et cetera, et cetera, because they will all need it in order to maintain their staff on campus. Uh, what What are your thoughts here? That's a good deal for the – I mean, it's always good to be the bank. Hey, you got so that right. I just, I just did the quick back of the envelope math. That is uh, – just a hair shy of $16.6 million of profit for the bank if you were to take that loan out and pay it back. And it, Now, is that per school? That's per school. Good gracious. Yeah, that's that ain't bad. Not, that ain't not bad. too shabby if you got $83 million laying around to loan somebody. No, you got that right. You have got that right. So we'll see what happens. interest don't seem like much, but it's a lot of dough. Oh, it definitely is. Now, it's not like... it. Basically, the only reason you wouldn't do this is if you think that we are not going to have college football in the future. But I, there's, I don't foresee yeah. that happening. Yeah, when you start getting TV money next year and you're thinking that maybe all that TV money and all your revenue can go up next year because people were starved for it and we lost it, I don't think this is one of those things where it's like baseball after the strike year took a while for you know fans to come back. I think they're going to come back in droves. Excuse me. And uh, and and so it's just one of those things where yeah you'll you'll be able to make all that money back and you could probably pay it back pretty quickly yeah I I do agree there uh, next topic here 